He's back. He is back, people. We are back with Josie. You know Josie. You guys remember Shoot Nice, crazy guy here? Well, today we are doing something different and something that him and I have been talking about for like six plus months. Right here, the good old fashioned 10 pounder boat. You guys know this is my boat. Josie today is gonna help me redo it and we are going to be building my own boat. We're gonna be redoing all of this. The, all the decking, everything on it. We're gonna redo it. We're gonna make it look really, really good. Uh, I don't think I'm gonna replace the trolling motor. I think I'm gonna keep that, I'll keep the motor, but basically replace the decking, put in compartments, rod lockers, stuff to store a tackle, and I'm gonna kinda walk you through on what, what we're gonna do, because I know a lot of you guys have John boats, just like myself, and are curious, um, you know, how, how basically this would be my dream John boat is what this is gonna be, and this boy here, he's gonna help me, so huge shout out to Josie for helping me out. But as you can see, it's not, I mean, there's junk everywhere. I haven't even touched this since like September. All this stuff is just, it doesn't look good. So we're gonna strip all this clean and, uh, and basically do everything we can. And then, what are we gonna do? We're gonna sketch it, sketch it out. Mm -hmm. You're an artist, right? Uh, I guess you could say. So he's gonna sketch out what we're gonna do. And then, uh, and then we're gonna go to the, the store, we're gonna go to Menards, pick up the materials, and, uh, and get as much done today as we can. Now today is not gonna be the entire build. I will make a separate video going over us actually building some of the parts. Uh, but you guys know I travel a lot and don't have a ton of time, and so he is going to be doing a lot of the building while I'm off traveling and running around. And, uh, and so basically it's all in his hands to make, make the boat look pretty sick. But uh, today, that's pretty much pretty much the gist. And we got Macy. She's over there. You look really uncomfortable. I'm cold. You look really uncomfortable. She's gonna help film, and uh, I don't know, she was bored, so she just came with. She's gonna help us shop. You can decorate the boat. I feel like I feel like that's what you should do. She's gonna maybe potentially make the boat look pretty. She can do mine too. Mine. Too. And then Josie. Look. At, okay. First off, let's let's give you a sneak peek on this. So this guy's. This is Josie's boat. All right. Look how sick this is. So this is. What is this? Like a 12-footer? 12 12-footer. 12 12-footer, but look, like, show, show off show off this. This is kind of what this is gonna, mine's gonna look like in a sense. Look at this. Dude, this looks better than Rob's freaking new bass <laughs> boat. Look at this. You got rod lockers, everything, compartments. Look at this, right here. Boom! It's like a, literally a mini bass boat. So that's what I'm gonna try to do to mine is uh, since I basically saw him with his, and I was like, yo, you've gotta build me a sick boat. So also, before, before we kinda get into this, comment down below, since we are gonna have time between this video and, and when we actually do the project stuff, comment down below, what, what do you want me to do with the boat? What, what are you like, you have to have this, this is a must have, and everything else. So let me know in the comment section down below um, for that, but uh, I don't know, I say we get started, what do you think? Let's do it. You think you're ready? Some demolition, destruction, Slash, just get everything break, out. Break out some sledgehammers. Sledgehammer, I like it. Let's do it. Boom, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, all right, hang on, hang on. We'll get this out. Get the full effect here. Boom, look at that. She is cleaned and prepped. Actually, it's still filthy, but it's prepped. Look at the difference, before and after. You got this completely wide open now. Nothing, nothing's in it, troll motor's off, deck's off. Basically, the only thing you have here is the motor and gas tank. What do you think, Josie? Think we did a good job? Yeah, now comes the hard part. Now comes the hard part. We gotta, we have to decide what we want, exactly what we're gonna do. So we're gonna sit down real quick. We're gonna sketch out exactly what we, what we, what we think we want here. And then uh, we're gonna head to the store, take you guys with us, and go shopping for some uh, materials. All right, here we go. Uh, professional artist here, so we're gonna do that. Oh, looks like a boat, right? Mm -hmm. Then it kind of comes back like this, goes like this. We already got the motor, and yeah, that's pretty much it. So, all right, Joe, you're doing this. You tell me, what do you, what do you think's the best? Obviously, uh, we're gonna put a trolley motor here. Then you have a bench seat right about here. I'm thinking about leaving that in and framing in a recessed foot pedal tray for your trolley motor. That'd be fancy. Bench seats. Another one back here-ish. Put in a box here for storage. Tack storage over here. And then we're gonna put in a big door right here for your gas tank. And we'll put your battery box on this side. Uh, we'll probably put in a couple day boxes. 
a day box there, a day box there, co-angler storage or something. Maybe we can even do like a rod locker or something in the center. I mean, we got plenty of space, but from what I'm getting from Andrew, this is pretty much what we're kind of working with for right now until we start getting framing in. What I'm thinking is we basically have deck from here and then right here we'll have two, com two big compartments here and then right where this is open will stay open and then we'll just have another deck here. So like you can actually sit down while you're driving with your feet not way up high and then this will all be deck. So that's what's gonna, that's what we're gonna do. We gotta go get materials though. We gotta go buy all the, all the wood. Maybe or maybe not some metal and then whatever else we can find for, for right now. A few moments later. Josie used to work at Menards. He knows what's going on. Built houses. He also builds houses. And shoots guns in the ice. Oh, there This is why you hire a professional like Josie, because Josie knows what to do. You know, me, if I were to build a deck, it'd probably collapse or sink the boat or something, but he, he's, he's got all this figured out. Just throw him from here, honestly. Yeah, I'll, I'll catch him. Just one-handed, I got this. I used, to, I used to play baseball. We're good. Timber! Ha! Get it? <laughs> oh, you actually wanted me to catch him? Here. What type of screws do we need? Deck screws. Deck screws. Like all weather deck screws. All weather deck screws. Inch and a quarter. Ha ha, you found Boom. it. Boom. I'm a pro. A lot, How many is in there? Probably like a thousand. Aw, uh, yeah. Probably, like Probably don't need a thousand. But. So is it? That, that, that's is that the juice? I think that's the juice. Those aren't, yeah. I mean, I don't think I'll really step on them too I bad. I know if we had the hinges on the outside of the hatch and the hatch is over here on the side of the boat. Really you would show me stepping on them anyway. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that looks that looks good. That'll look real good. Oil based. That's what we need. That's it. That's that's what we're going with right there. Whoa! I didn't realize that. Look at that. The whole, you can go to the other side, dude. Well, man, this only goes on this half. This is next level stuff. Look at this. It's like a conveyor belt. Have you ever ridden on it? No. I feel like it'd be kind of fun. No. no? Probably not safe though. No, not yeah. Not safe at all. We're not we're not really known to do anything safe no. though, so there you go. It'd be right up our alley. Oh look at this. Oh wow. I don't know, I don't know if this is gonna work. We may or may not lose all of our possessions that we bought, but we're just gonna we're just gonna hope for the best. We are back, folks, and uh, this is the new finished product right here. I'm just kidding. We got, we got some tubs in here, but Josie and I, we had fun with we some Menards. We got everything, and in case you guys were wondering how much it was, it was like, I think it was like three, a little over 350 bucks um, for everything. So I think we decided we're actually going to leave some of these seats in there, the benches, and use that as a support instead of reframing this entire thing, just to save time, save money, and all that other fun stuff. But that's pretty much, pretty much it. Like I said, make sure you guys comment down below some suggestions on, on like the layout, um, what, what, like some must-haves, or maybe if you guys have done this and you guys did something you thought was going to be good and it turned out to not be good, let me know. Give us some tips because, like I said, we're not going to really start working on this for uh, until after this video is up. So we'll have plenty of time to read all the comments and get some get some feedback from you guys and figure out what we should and should not do. But I'm pretty excited for this. The old til the old tin pounder is getting a remake and uh like i said i'm pretty excited but if you guys are wondering why i'm redoing it i'll roll the clip of the first time i fished in this boat yeah that's why i'm redoing it the deck was just a little too small for me and not not for everybody for me i'm pretty clumsy so i wanted to redo it make some compartments i want to keep my tackle in here i don't want to have to keep taking it in and out and basically just throw a backpack in there i want to leave tackle in here and this be my little pond hopping nebraska brute catching machine with uh with everything in it and, and ready to rock and roll so this guy is going to get this is the next time you guys see this it is going to look hopefully way different i don't know i don't know again how much i'm going to be filming of the, the, the journey of doing this because Josie's going to be doing a lot of the work just because I'm not in town, don't have the time to really take the time that of necessary to actually build this, but I'm hopefully going to be stopping in a couple times, helping him out and, and showing you guys and taking you guys along the journey 
of what we're going to be doing and, and kind of do like a step-by-step -step. couple updates here and there but really looking forward to when this guy is done we still have like a month probably month and a half before the fishing gets decent enough so we that's our time frame we got to get it done before the nebraska brutes start start biting once that ice goes up anyways i'm gonna end the video big shout out to my homie josie for uh for helping me out with this project. Uh, if you guys like these little DIY things and want to see some more, I don't know, anything, leave a like on this video right now and drop a comment down below what else you want me to do, like I said, what you, what you want me to do to this boat or something else. I don't know if I, we could redo a flat bottom, I guess, would be the only di different, maybe you guys want me to go buy a flat bottom boat and do that. Might be the only different thing um, that we could do, but I kind of like these DIY things. It's, it's just definitely a mix up, something to do in the winter. I'm tired of freezing my balls off out on the ice and, uh, Something to do to get ready for the uh, the spring. You excited for spring? Oh yeah. Yeah, Josie and I, we're, we're ready to catch the basket birds. Anyways, I'm gonna end the video here. Sorry I didn't catch any fish. Really wasn't that interesting of a video, but I wanted to, to document this because I feel like this is gonna be one of one of the cooler things I do all year for sure is building my old boat, redoing it, and uh, making it look look better and, and perform better. So, anyways, thank you guys so much for watching, and peace.